Good evening. I'm Sarah Jo Best, Public Health Director for Lincoln Trail District Health Department. There are now 18 documented cases of COVID-19 within the Lincoln Trail District Health Department service area. Seven in Hardin, four in Nelson, two in Marion, one in Washington, two in Meade, and two in LaRue. There is no doubt that COVID-19 is in each one of our counties and is spreading. Last week, I showed you a map of cases in Kentucky as of March 24th. I warned then that the virus would continue to make its way across Kentucky. On your screen, you can also see the March 31st map of cases. This illustrates that preparation was in fact necessary and preventative. It was necessary for these measures to go into place to slow the spread. During our investigations, Lincoln Trail District Health Department has been unable to identify commonalities among most of our documented cases. This frequently means that there is no known connection that links them to one another. This indicates to public health professionals that we do in fact have community spread. We must now have the mindset that every person we meet has COVID-19 and we must practice social distancing, healthy at home measures and good hygiene. For those of you out there practicing good social distancing, keep it up. It is making a difference. We are at one of the most critical moments in this battle and our actions will determine the future. By decreasing our contacts now by 75%, we will make all the difference in our ability to provide care for our injured, our ill, and our ability to recover. In order to defeat this virus on the first try, we must have patience, endurance, and understanding that it is a lifestyle change that could last a while. On your screen is a map of cases of COVID-19 across the United States. As you can see by Kentucky's lighter color, we have done a good job of implementing preventative measures early in the crisis. In some states, the rate of new cases doubles every three days. That is why it is important to avoid any unnecessary travel, especially travel to the other states. If we cross the border into those dark colored states for services or entertainment, we risk the bringing back the virus to our own communities. Travel will also force officials to enact home quarantine. For now, it is best to postpone these trips and order out-of-state goods online or by phone. In closing, I know that this time of social isolation has been especially difficult for young people. In an era when we have mo the most ways to stay connected, we are asking people to stay away from each other. But with a little creativity, we can stay in touch with our friends, our supports, and our loved ones, even if we have to be six feet apart. 